Hey YouTube babies, today I will be cooking my banging Brussels sprouts. Just look at those ingredients and let's get started. First, I'm going to start off by cutting my Brussels sprouts in the middle like so. Cutting all of them in half. I don't want them whole, then you'll see why. So, and by the way, these are frozen Brussels sprouts that I got. So, you can use fresh Brussels sprouts, of course, but these are the ones that I could afford because <laughs> I got more for my money. So, I will be doing a recipe with fresh Brussels sprouts, but hey. So, what you're going to do, you're going to set them out so you can get ready to, you know, get them ready. Now, I got me some garlic right there that I'm leaving whole that I'm just taking the skin off. And I'm smashing like so. And you're going to leave them whole because garlic, when it, it'll cook fast and it'll have that taste of bitterness. So I got me some bacon. And I cut it up. See all the garlic I got? And I cut some bacon up and I'm putting it on top. Like so. And this is blackened black pepper bacon. You have to use black pepper bacon. You don't have to, but... For what I'm, flavors that I'm doing, you should. And I have some rose, some fresh rosemary right there. You don't need a lot. You only need a little bit because if you use too much rosemary, it'll start to taste perfumey. So, I'm just cutting it up. Yes, I do have some garlic skin in there, but that's okay. Ain't no wrong with it. And now I have some brown sugar that I'm going to be placing on the top of my bacon. And you're going to see what that brown sugar does afterwards. And I only use like half a cup of brown sugar. You don't have to, but you're going to see why later why you should use brown sugar. <laughs> okay. Now I got that rosemary I'm putting in there. Now I have some um, olive oil that I'm going to drizzle some on. You don't need a lot because bacon has its own fattening and grease in it. So you only need a little bit to get this started, okay? Only a little. That might look like a lot, but trust me, it's a little. <laughs> and you're going to mix, mix all your ingredients together like so. Okay, you guys, I made too many Brussels sprouts, so I had to take everything out of my pan, and I'm laying them flat where I cut them at, so it'll have that brown sugar glaze on it, and it will cook, and it'll just caramelize those Brussels sprouts, so you need to lay all of them flat where you cut them at, like so, and after I'm done doing this, I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees, and I'm going to put them in the oven for like 20 to 30 minutes, if that. But once they're completely done, they'll come out looking scrumptious like this. You see how that brown sugar caramelized those Brussels sprouts? It was the bomb.diggity.com. Um, and you guys, um, I had it cooking for like 15 to 20 minutes because my oven was it was hot. And if you can see those garlic cloves that I have right there the reason why I did not cut them fine is because when you cook garlic if you overcook garlic it will have this nasty bitter taste and you don't want that so I had these in the oven roasting right so once it came out I had like those garlic nuggets you want to call it and when you roast garlic as you know it becomes it doesn't be it's not going to be bitter it's going to be a sweet a sweet taste so I pretty much roasted that garlic with that Brussels sprout so those little nuggets oh my god they were so freaking delicious so um like I said I had this cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes and with that all those flavors with that garlic that brown sugar that blackened pepper and those Brussels sprouts oh my god it was a dumb dumb it was a bomb.com but anywho you guys like my video if you like this and I'll continue to make more YouTube cooking videos. Alright, love you guys. Bye. Toodles. Okay, my next video, you guys, I will be making homemade guacamole. Now you stay tuned. Bye.